Hey everybody, Tracy Brown. This is going to be a really quick video because I have to run and get my kid. Um, and I don't know if I'm a truly a fan of this or not, but I was thinking I must be a fan of these like quick little things. Like you'll see in some of my, um, I know it's in my membership site and it's also just in things I say a lot and some worksheets I have around like three C's, like curiosity, compassion, and courage. Well, I said something to a, said something to a client last week around like, what's the how come or the why of eating and kind of what blurted out of my mouth as we were talking was something to the effect of like purpose what's our purpose in eating you know what how present can we be in our eating and you know how do we get pleasure so I was thinking whoa I should talk about that in a video is when we think about eating and especially when we move away from diet culture you want to think about eating has all these components actually so we have a purpose with our eating which is I want to um, fulfill some energy needs and because I feel tired or I feel hungry or my belly's kind of empty um, I don't use grumbling as a good hunger signal because that's not always a reliable one um, sometimes it is but usually that's a really really hunger a strong hunger signal um, but gentle hunger like a three or even a four usually aren't that loud um, they're just kind of there kind of strong and a four is like a little less strong but it's you can see it's not gonna eat but anyway so a purpose you know each time we go to think about eating well what is my purpose for doing this food work like what do I want from eating and it's well I want to be nourished I want to be satisfied I want to eat because I mean my some of my favorite things are like I'm eating cookies out of the oven I talk about this a lot because I really love them that way so my purpose for eating cookies in that way because it's my my favorite and that's the way I want to eat them um, and so sometimes it's that sometimes it's straight on like you know I don't really have a strict like gotta have a certain food the purpose of this meal needs to be just having a little of everything because I know that in general that makes me feel the most satisfied that's great too your presence your presence with eating like how much presence can you give yourself with your eating you don't need to be perfect to be perfectly attuned but just recognizing that it feels okay so a caveat here in theory it feels good to be really present with our eating because we get to feel everything and get a lot of feedback now I know that there are those of us who don't like to be that present because that makes us feel more emotion um, and some of the reason we do restrict or we do emotionally eat or binge is because we do want to check out I'm not saying that's the worst strategy in the whole whole world like in a traumatic there's nothing else I can do situation but on a day-to-day -day living basis that's not going to be fulfilling or sustaining or thriving so we don't want that to be the way we do it but presence is what we're working towards so um, because if we're present with our food in that way it frees us up to like okay I got that feedback now what else is happening and that need is met and I'm okay thirdly pleasure I'm almost to the point in my life where it's like, what is the point if I'm not eating what I like? I mean, I can eat food that's like good enough and I'm fine with that. But if I even do too much of good enough eating, I get kind of irritable and a little bit like, ugh, like I'm sort of bored with food. Um, and so pleasure, I think, is very, very important. And I think that is part of the point of eating um, in each and every meal. So maybe not all the meal needs to be the best thing ever or the most perfect, but I think if some thought and care goes into it even if it's very easy and very simple like I had cheese um, burritos for lunch I had two and, and with, as part of my I had some other stuff too and it just hit the spot it didn't have to be fancier than that That's exactly what I wanted it was like just exactly what I needed and it wasn't fancy so um, something for y'all to be thinking about and I think that's about it I just want to put that in there as just a, another way of thinking about um, Instead of counting calories, counting macros, getting it right, being perfect, stressing out, why don't we just think about, like, well, what is my purpose here for this eating? Sustenance, um, connection, pleasure, even checking out a little bit, but I don't want to do that all the time. I mean, again, I'm not, like, making that the thing we're striving for. I'm not. We're also just trying to take the shame out of it. Presence, like, how much do you get from that? And also being kind to yourself if you're like I don't want to be that present this is the best I can do okay but we are working towards presence because that creates more space for other things and pleasure of course I would love it for you to get to the point where it's like you know what 
I'm willing to go out and get some food because this, what I have is just not cutting it for a, from a satisfaction perspective. Or well, I really want to eat the best of what's available. So I just want to leave you all with that. I also want to tell you, I'm really excited. I'm going to do some um, little surprises. My birthday is November 28th. So if you're a part of my email um, you know, list, I probably the 24th, I'm going to put that email out. I've got some little gifts, um, mostly just like big, big discounts on some stuff that, um, you know, some of my somatic meditation, some of my permission to eat meditation, my self-study, I guess I'm not, I'm terrible at like surprises for holidays and birthdays. So don't ask me what you're getting. Cause I'll probably tell you, um, because I'm always so excited. I like to give stuff. It's fun. Um, so yeah, if you're on my list, you'll get access to that. I might post it on Facebook. I might not or Instagram. I'm not sure. Um, so if you're on my list, you'll get access to that kind of stuff. It won't be really on my website that you can get that. It'll either be if I do post something on social media or if you're on my email list, you'll get that right to your email on the 24th of November, um, a couple days before my birthday. And um, I might have another surprise in there too. I'm really wanting to. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I'm thinking about like what that is. So if you have something like, oh, Tracy, I really want you to do blah, 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 or I really want to work with you and... Um, any one-on-one -on -one specials, you know, if that's something you're actually really interested in, private message me, link me below. Um, I want to do something fun, you know, for my birthday and I'm, I'm cooking that up, but if there's something else you would like, then it'd be my pleasure. So anyway, thank you so much and um, I hope this video was helpful and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Thanks.